As announced in the previous video, the last tool we want to investigate about limits is the so-called squeeze theorem. The squeeze theorem is about situations where we can compare functions and therefore their limits. So let's assume that we're in a situation where one function g stays above another function f near a. Here near a is a short end to say on some open interval containing a and by that I mean for every x in that open interval containing a except possibly at x equal a. And let's assume that uh, both functions have a limit at x equal a. So such a situation um, is represented on this graph. Let's say a is equal to 1. So this is a line x equal 1. And you see that indeed on some interval around a we have uh, the function g is larger than the function f, so the graph is above. And in terms of limit, the limit of g of x here is 3 at 1, while the limit of f of x at 1 is 0. You see that the limit of f stays below the limit of g, nothing surprising here since the values f of x stay below the value g of x for each x near x equal a. And since the values of f near a are those that um, determine the limit at 1, and the values of g of x determine the limit of g of x at 1. There's nothing surprising here. And this is a general fact that the limit of f of x would be less than the limit of g of x if both limits exist and f of x stays smaller than g of x for each x close to a but not equal to a. Now let's look at the consequences of this observation in the case where we now have three functions that are comparable near a. In other words, I have h of x less than or equal f of x less than or equal g of x for each x on some open interval containing a, except possibly when x is equal to a. As a consequence of the previous observation, we have the same ordering for limits assuming, of course, that the limits for each three functions exist. If, moreover, the two bounding functions h and g have the same limit, then the limit of f is between l and l, and is therefore equal to l. And that's exactly what the squeeze theorem says. If I have three functions that are comparable for all x in an open interval centered at a, except possibly for x equal a, and the two bounding functions h and g have the same limit at a, then the function f also has a limit, which is this common limit l. So let us see what that means on a picture. In this picture, um, we have three functions that we can compare. More specifically, uh, the red function, that would be our function f, stays between two bounding functions, the blue graphs. And both blue graphs, as you can see, approach 0 as x is approaching 0. And the red graph that is squeezed between these two functions has nowhere else to go when x goes to 0, so it has limit 0 at 0 as well. Now, what kind of consequences can we obtain from the squeeze theorem? Let's look at an example of a typical exercise you may have. Let's say we want to find the limit when x is approaching 0 of x squared multiplied by cosine of pi over x. Note that the function cosine pi over x is not defined when x is equal to 0. When x gets close to 0, pi over x gets larger and larger. And so it's not quite clear what happens to this cosine of pi over x as x approaches 0. However, as long as pi over x is defined, that is for x non-zero, cosine of any value stays between negative 1 and 1. Therefore, 
if I multiply each term in this inequality by the positive number x squared, I preserve the direction of the inequality, and I obtain that my function x squared cosine of pi over x, which is the one for which I seek the limit at x equals 0, stays between negative x squared and x squared for all x but x equals 0. Well, I can then observe that the two bounding functions, negative x squared and x squared, both have the same limit, which is 0, and therefore the squeeze theorem applies because x squared cosine pi over x is between two functions for every x except x equals 0, and these two functions have the same limit, which is 0, so my function x squared cosine of pi over x has also limit 0. Another example of an exercise that could be dealt with using the squeeze theorem is the following. Let's say we have a function f for which we know that f of x stays between 3x and x cubed plus 2 for all x in the open interval 0, 2. Now there are lots of functions that satisfy this, so it's not a lot of information on the function f. However, if the function if the question, sorry, is to find the limit of that function when x is approaching 1, this is something we can easily deal with with the squeeze theorem because the two bounding functions, 3x and x cubed plus 2, they are both polynomial. And to find their limit at 1, we just plug x equal 1. So both of them have limit 3 at x equal 1. And therefore, the function f of x that is squeezed between 3x and x cubed plus 2 has also limit 1 by the squeeze theorem. Now that we have seen all the standard techniques to find limits, it's your turn. Uh, you're going to be able to train on using these kind of techniques in the homework.